The activities that they do at the centre and within the local community are tailored around their needs and in this rural setting they've got a good mix. Once a month the adults in motion group go horse riding. Well, my name is Heather McKenzie and um, Roger, my husband and I, we run Horse Riding Walkworth. Our daughter Melody, she has Down syndrome. AIM has been very good in providing some structured program for Melody as she's left school. The AIM people also wanted to do something for their other clients so they could do some horse riding. This is Amanda who's going to be riding Annie. Yeah. Um, Denville's on Renegade. Yeah, um, and Jamie Lee's on Terminator. What would you like about the riding? I actually love horse riding because I've done horse riding before, so yeah, I'm used to it. Yeah. What about you, Daniel? Do you like riding? Oh, How to that's special. When we first got into riding for people with disabilities, um, we used to lead them around a paddock and just make everybody walk and have some sidewalkers, which was fine until one of the mothers arrived one time and said, my son knows how to ride, he used to ride on the farm. That made us think, are we trying to bring people down to what we think they can only do instead of lifting them up to what really they could achieve if they're challenged a bit more. The first day I actually went the horse riding, I was, at, I was absolutely excited and happy. When she was riding before, she always had to be walked around. That's what I mean about her independence and, and her confidence. She's got it up here at AIM. She's allowed to be independent. Horse riding has a lot of benefits for those that are normally quite quiet and not always willing to get involved in other activities. They become different people. Sometimes it's quite difficult to keep Denville interested in a program that we're doing, but when he's with the horses, he really comes out of himself. Denville, he doesn't really like horse wheeze and poos. <laughs> and bless him, they make him gag. And he just tells his horse to stop doing it. Jim's such a quiet gentleman and he wouldn't want to hurt anything. So when we first started going, he didn't want to like give the horse a bit of a kick to make it go. But now he's learnt that. He's not hurting the horse, he can just, you know, give it a bit of a kick and it'll make it go a bit faster. Very good. James always says thank you very much, horse, and he's, he's still a true gentleman. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, horse. Goal setting is central to AIM's programme. Try and plan the programmes by using each individual's goals each day. It's pretty structured as to what we're doing. Laura, she's our newest participant. She's building her confidence slowly um, and wasn't so keen to join in with group activities. She's getting there now and she loves sewing. Happy that the baby's going to get a quilt. And, and how's it made you feel about yourself? Happy. Are you very proud of yourself? Yes. And Amanda has become a dab hand at quilting too. That's what I've been doing for the last two or three weeks and and now I, now I got used to it and now it's right there in front of me. So I've done two parts of it, but it's one of my goals. Yeah, it's great. I really like it. I am proud of myself, yes, and so is my mum. So everything at AIM is all here for me. That's another great thing I love about AIM. They're her goals and they are trying to help her achieve them. AIM is doing what they said, set out to do. AIM has found Amanda part-time work at Walkworth Hospital. I've just dropped Amanda off at Walkworth Hospital for her work experience. I used to take her in and she said to me, could you please leave me at the door and let me walk through on my own? I want to be independent. I think this will be good for me. Good morning. How are you? I'm Jo from Walkworth Hospital. I'm the nurse manager. We have had Amanda here now for about three months. And she just comes out and helps out with the, with the cleaner here. She offers the Rizzi some cup of teas, chats away with them, which is really good for the residents here because a lot of the staff are so busy that we just don't have the time. So it's just, you know, a good mix of, of different people for the residents to interact with. She's very good one-to-one -one with the elderly. She loves them and they love her. Hi, Amanda. How are you? I'm good. So, becoming in and out of your room? Oh, good, good. Yeah. Just whistle. 
<laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't need anybody to come in with me because I know I can do it on my own and give it this a go. I feel really proud of myself. Really proud of myself. I think going to AIM for her has empowered her. She's very independent, but she's allowed to be independent there. She just wants everything else that a young person wants when they've left school. And Amanda's not alone. Jamie's feeling pretty chuffed with himself too. He's now got work experience at Walkworth Hospice. With Jamie Lee, as he is a real people person and he loves to help, we went to the local hospice shop. We felt that Jamie would have a lot to offer them. It'd be really good for him. Jamie's absolutely ecstatic with what he's doing. He, he absolutely loves it. Extremely well. Picked it up quickly. Very helpful. Loves morning tea. We're more than happy to have them. Hmm? We're just about done our dash now, but I can give you some more to do, can't I, Jamie? Okay. AIM strives to help participants realise their full potential. David has been coming to AIM for just short of two years now. In those two years, he's really come on. There's been a huge improvement in David and the way he participates. He's got a lot more vocal. David loves pool. Recently, we've got him, so when we want him to join in a different activity, he now collects the pool balls up and put them, puts them in a box and puts them in the cupboard. Balls. When we first started doing that, it was really hard and David used to get quite upset about it. And that's massive for David. It's huge. Today is tree planting day for the adults in motion crew. The group from AIM have come along to our place every two to four weeks. Um, two years ago, we decided to turn one of our paddocks into a native tree project. I had a sudden brainwave and I thought, why not get AIM involved in this? But before the hard work begins, it's lunchtime and there's a little celebration to be had. Oh. I just wanted to say, today, thank you for um, making my cake. I absolutely loved it and I love you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a neat atmosphere for them, uh, sort of out together, enjoying the fresh air and doing something worthwhile. Sarah Laurie is caregiver for Jamie Lee, Denville and David. When we moved from Hamilton, um, we found it very difficult to find a programme that suited our boys because they are quite high needs and they need a lot of help. They get to get out in the community and meet different people and all sorts of things that they wouldn't get to do if it weren't for Ames. Do you remember what that one's called? Totawa. That's it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> you go around to where David is. <laughs> Since what you're standing in is a native chair paddock. Man. And we do lots of things from being out here in amongst the native trees, or we're doing artwork, or we're going to Auckland for tin and bowling. So we cover a wide range of activities, really. Jamie and Dem will definitely talk for hours and hours about what they do during the day with their aims and all the different people they meet and it is wonderful, it's a good opportunity for them. It's Monday morning catch up and there's a special announcement to be made. This is highlights, so who would like to start today? Me. Okay. On Friday night we met. Uh, Matthew proposed to me at the Catholic Church. I've got, I've got down on what right one. Like this. And I turned around to Anna and said, Anna, will you marry me? She said, yes. Then who brother Michael <laughs> said, no Anna, say no, Anna, say no. Rusty without his engagement's huge. They've just grown stronger as a couple and they've learnt a lot about each other from coming to air. They've just fallen in love. It's lovely to think that they've got an opportunity to live together and, and lead a happy life together. She's learning to do things and make things and I don't have to keep an eye on her. And again, that's giving her confidence. I think it's just going to continue to grow and we're hoping to provide the services five days a week. If they didn't have something like this to come to, some of them probably would be stuck at home doing nothing and at least they get to see places and do special things. And I think with the Ames ladies, they believe in them. You know, they listen to them, they let them be the 
themselves. I just feel that the people who work here enjoy it so much that the people actually come enjoy being with them. It's just, um, it's just amazing. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.